We need to catch Adamu in the act and show everyone the truth, Aisha said. Her friends agreed to help. That night, they followed Adamu to his secret workshop. They hid behind a bush and watched as Adamu chanted strange words, causing the wigs to glow with eerie light. Aisha's heart raced. They now had the proof they needed. The next morning, in a bustling village market, where everyone wore colorful clothes and sold various items, there was one special shop everyone talked about. It was Adamu's wig shop. Adamu was a charming man with a warm smile, and his wigs were the talk of the village. The young girls and women in the village were enchanted by Adamu's wigs. They would argue and compete just to buy one, saying things like, I need to look my best, and I can't do that without an Adamu wig. The competition to buy Adamu's wigs became intense. Women saved up all their money and even borrowed just to afford one. They believed these wigs would make them feel like queens. The market was always buzzing with excitement around Adamu's shop, as women fought and argued just to get their hands on one of his wigs. This made Adamu very excited. But here's the intriguing part about Adamu's wigs. They were cursed. People didn't know this. They only saw how beautiful the wigs were and rushed to buy them. Any woman who wore an Adamu wig seemed to face misfortune, but they never suspected that the problem came from the wigs. A young woman named Amina, who had recently married, was thrilled when she found out she was pregnant. When she told her husband, he asked, My dear wife, what would you like me to get for you to celebrate our unborn child? Amina replied, I've always dreamed of wearing one of Adam's wigs. Please, buy me one from his shop. Her husband gave her money to buy the wig, excited to celebrate their growing family. The next day, Amina went to Adamu's shop. She told him, Adamu, I want to buy this wig I've been dreaming about. You are the talk of the village. How much is it? My husband has already given me the money. Adamu happily sold her the wig. When Amina got home, she was thrilled to finally have one of Adamu's wigs. She thought, now I can also talk about having one of Adamu's wigs when other women do. However, just a few hours after wearing the wig, Amina had a miscarriage and lost the baby. She didn't know why this happened and never suspected the wig was the cause. When Amina became pregnant again and wore the same wig, she had another miscarriage. This continued to happen, causing problems in her marriage. Another young woman named Zainab had recently gotten engaged to her true love and wanted to celebrate by buying a wig from Adamu's shop for her wedding. She thought, I need to have one of Adamu's wigs for my wedding. I've already told my hairstylist I'll be using one, so I must get it. Zainab visited Adamu's shop and bought a wig with the intention of wearing it on her wedding day. But on her wedding day, as soon as she wore the wig, her fiancé had cancelled the wedding and said he no longer wanted to marry her. Everyone was confused, including Zainab, who wondered why her fiancé suddenly changed his mind. She didn't realize that the wig from Adamu's shop was causing the chaos. As more women wore Adamu's wigs, strange things started happening in their lives. A singer named Na, known for her beautiful voice, lost her voice after wearing the wig. Easy, a talented dancer, hurt her leg mysteriously. Their fortunes seemed to vanish and no one understood why. In that same market lived a wise and observant girl named Aisha. Her mother owned a grocery store in the market. Aisha noticed the changes in the women who bought wigs from Adamu's shop. She saw how their talents and luck seemed to fade after wearing the wigs. Aisha told her mother, Mama, have you noticed what happens to the women with Adamu's wigs? For example, Auntie Rose, who sells clothes down the road, has been complaining about bad luck in her business since she bought a wig from Adamu. And Auntie Na, who used to be a great singer, has lost her voice since she wore one of Adam's wigs. Her mother replied, My daughter, 
I think you're right. We need to be careful. Even I feel something isn't right with Adamu. Aisha decided to investigate further. She spoke to the women affected in the market. Some said their businesses had suffered since they started wearing Adamu's wigs. Others mentioned losing their talents, like singing or dancing. When Amina came to the market and shared her experience with miscarriages after wearing the wig, Aisha began to piece the puzzle together. Aisha discovered that Adamu wasn't always a wig seller. He used to be a humble trader who sold ordinary goods. One day, he met an old mysterious man named Baba Zuzu. Baba Zuzu promised Adamu great wealth if he followed his advice. He taught Adamu how to make wigs using dark magic. These wigs looked beautiful but brought bad luck to those who wore them, while Adamu's business thrived. Aisha knew she had to act. She gathered her friends and shared her findings. We need to catch Adamu in the act and show everyone the truth, Aisha said. Her friends agreed to help. That night, they followed Adamu to his secret workshop. They hid behind a bush and watched as Adamu chanted strange words, causing the wigs to glow with eerie light. Aisha's heart raced. They now had the proof they needed. The next morning, Aisha and her friends confronted Adamu in the market. Adamu, your wigs are cursed. You use dark magic to harm our people. Aisha shouted. The crowd gathered, murmuring in shock. Adamu tried to deny the accusations. These are Alanis. My wigs are simply beautiful, he claimed. But Aisha and her friends showed everyone a cursed wig they had taken from his workshop. The market fell silent as people looked at Adamu in shock. Adamu's face turned red with anger, but he couldn't hide the truth. The villagers were furious and demanded answers. Just when it seemed Adamu would be caught, he tried to escape. But Aisha had a clever idea. She grabbed one of his wigs and threw it at him. The wig glowed and wrapped around Adamu, making him stumble and fall. The crowd gasped as they saw the wig's magic backfire on Adamu. Aisha stood tall and fearless. We must stop him from hurting anyone else, she said. The villagers cheered and praised Aisha for her bravery. They decided to take Adamu to the village elders for judgment. Under pressure, Adamu confessed his deeds and told them about Baba Zuzu and the dark magic. The villagers were horrified and saddened by his greed. The village elders listened to Adamu's confession and decided he must undo the magic he had cast and leave the village forever. Adamu begged for mercy, but the elders were firm. Adamu, under the watchful eyes of the villagers, performed a ritual to remove the curses from the wigs. The glowing wigs returned to normal, and the people felt a sense of relief. With Adamu gone, peace returned to the village. The villagers thanked Aisha for her courage and wisdom. The market became a place of joy and prosperity again. Aisha became a hero, and everyone learned the importance of honesty and kindness. Amina, who had suffered from the miscarriages, became pregnant again and gave birth to many healthy children. All the other women who had faced problems from Adamu's wigs had their misfortunes restored. And that's how the story of Adamu the evil wig seller, ended. The moral of this story is simple. Not everything that glitters is gold. Don't follow trends blindly because not everything that's popular is good, and sometimes you might not know the hidden evils behind it.